Hey guys, Spitfire again, how's it going? Today what I have here is a, not sure of the year, uh, serial number is 121,600 something, but this is a South Bend Heavy 10, this is one of the old Heavy 10s, and I bought this guy to replace my Logan, however, it's a little rougher than I thought it was when I first got it, and I, I didn't pay much for it, so I wasn't expecting much. But, um, and it's the, sorry I'm in my garage and it's tight here, but this is a short bed version. I think this is three feet. Or it might be three and a half foot bed, but it's a shorter, shorter version. Uh, when I got this thing the other day, it was all rusty. Pretty bad, actually. Let me move down here. And I came in here and I tried to whoop, clean up the ways a little bit, which I did. They turned out actually fairly decent. But, if you can see there, that right there, that's a big ridge. That's not the, not the corner of the top of the way, that's a big ridge. So if we go over here, you can see the ridge here. See there's no ridge over there. See it's a nice crisp and clean, big ridge. So that's probably a good couple couple thousands there of wear. And that goes all the way back to uh, you know quite a bit on the bed. Another thing with this guy, let me step back here. Sorry again, it's crowded, but my uh, this guy was off, the cross slide, and the guy was like, well here I got it, I got it right here. And you probably can't see it too well, but it's all rusty and pitty and it's junk. This guy actually cleaned up pretty good, but without that, and there's no cross feed screw in here. I got all the outside workings, but no screw. Um, and this thing is missing parts all over the place. I'm missing like oiler cups pretty much over the entire machine. There's no plate on the gearbox. Um, I do have the tail stock for it and no chuck on off switch back there. I haven't even tried to fire this thing up, but the cool thing about this is look at that. And I got a few of the, I got all the drawers, but I got them out. It's a wood cabinet, underdrive wood cabinet. And supposedly these are supposed to have been made for the Navy. I can't verify that, but that's what I've been told. So all the underdrive equipment is underneath there. And there we go. Um, also, he was missing the, the outside gear cover here. Uh, he's got one for a newer South Bend 10, but this is the old version with the slide gear. So we can go over and look here. So of course, the slide gear, which is kind of nifty. If you've never seen how one of these guys work, Alrighty, sorry I had to fix my camera there, but so here's the slide gear on these things. If you never see how this works, you see we got got our tumbler and our our spindle here, because our tumbler goes to an idler gear, and then another whichever is the idler gear here. But so here's our our slide gear between our gearbox gear on our gearbox. So there's a you're just switching. It's kind of like your back gears. You're going little to big and then back here you go big to little so slide it out little to big slide it in uh, let's see if it slid in there now we're big to little so it's kinda cool how that works if you've never seen how that works um, this guy does have a lot of good parts on it however sorry being that the bed is so crappy and It's missing some parts that just get kind of expensive to replace. I'm just going to part this guy out, I think. See the, the fancy wiring there? We can try and look in the, in the inside here. There's all the underdrive unit, which is still all there in pretty good shape. So, yeah. This, Kind of a bummer getting the lathe like that and then getting it home, so make sure you look at them. I guess I knew it had some wear, I didn't know it had that wear. But here's the here's the good part about this thing. 
Full set of collets with the collet bed attachment. Collet drawbar. Um, threading dial. I don't know if that's usable or not, but she got a little rusty one time. But look at all this stuff. All sorts of nifty. Here's kind of a cool carriage stop that somebody made. That's kind of cool. Index plates, some drive plates, dogs, um, you know, extra tailstock handle. Here's the holder for the, the collet attachment that goes on there. You know, the collet stuff and compound and extra gears, a whole bunch of assortment of cutters and follower rests and so I don't know, not a ton of money in tools here, but I mean the collet thing is a good deal and then there's a few other things. Um, there is one tool in here that I, I was going to show you guys because I've never seen one and I thought it was kind of cool. Here it is. So check that out. Anybody know what it is? Anybody? Anybody? Alright, so this is a threading stop. So this gets clamped on your cross slide dovetails and then it'll only allow you to go in so far. So this is a kind of cool thing if you guys have never seen it. I've never seen one, but kind of cool. So yeah, there we go. You can see my background in the boat. Background in the boat. Yeah, my boat in the background. <laughs> we'll save that for another day. But so you got the croil out and all the oil and been working away at it. But to parting, it may go. So most of these, uh, probably a lot of these I'll, I'll sell off. But I'm going to keep uh, the, the drawbar and the call closers. Because I might, I'm still looking for a heavy 10, a good heavy 10 to replace my other one with. But, um, so yeah, kind of neat. Another one bites the dust, but there we go. Just thought I'd do a little update video and, and let you guys know what I got going on here today. Um, I am going to, hopefully, in the next couple days, going to go look at a South Bend 13. And I'm not quite sure, I haven't got all the details on it yet, but. We're, we'll see if, if that's a good deal and if that's what I want, I might pick that thing up, but... <sighs> it's kind of sucks sometimes looking for a lathe, but I'll find one here sooner or later. So until next time, you guys, stay safe on your machines. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.